All right, so uh, today's topic is going to be septic tanks. I did a service call the other night on a septic tank. Maybe you want to just tell some people about how the septic tanks actually work. Um, so when you flush your toilet, most toilets now are like 1.6, 1.8 gallons. When you flush that toilet, it goes out to your septic tank and 1.6 gallons has to leave the septic tank. And it goes into the drain field. The drain field, there's a couple different drain fields now. We have, I like the infiltrators, which is a, I always say it looks like a half a 55 gallon drum. It's, it's more like a chamber system. It leaves a open cavity under the ground. Um, very, very good system. It holds about two, three times as much water as septic tank. But uh, a lot of people have the old rock and pipe system, which it's been working for a long time. It's just not up to date. So you have the pipe with holes in it. You have rock around it. It allows water to leach out into your yard. Okay, uh, a lot of misconception is when people set tanks and we come there and we open it, they see all the water in there and they say, oh, something's wrong. No, your septic tank's always full of water. But there's a level to your septic tank. It's supposed to be on the outlet. It's supposed to be a little bit lower than the inlet and outlet need to be even. So that way when the water comes in, the water leaves. When water is all the way up to the top of your lid and coming out, then there's a problem with your drain field. Now, when people say a drain field is dead, they're referring to the ground is no longer leaching water. So sometimes if you have it pumped out and that gives it about a month to fill back up with water as long as you don't have a bunch of people in the house it gives time for the yard to dry out other time we just have to replace the drain field so that's what uh they refer to when they say that your drain field is dead now in this instance what happened was we had a lot of rain here in south carolina i mean a ton of rain here lately and a lot of people's drain fields are getting saturated with water so what happened was the septic tank filled with water and the toilet paper is coming out and it's hitting the water dam because it's a lot higher than what it should be and it just starts building up a dam of toilet paper and i unplugged it and you know told the customer i didn't see anything wrong with their septic tank it wasn't full of stuff um you know other than the drain field is just really wet they haven't had any problems until now because of all the rain so they're just gonna have to you know hope it doesn't clog again and let the drain field die out you know drain fields are very very expensive to replace and there's no point in replacing something that's not broken that's my main thing is i always try to upgrade to something better when it is broken but why go around and fix something that's not broken if you see it starting to break you see something's going to happen you know i can relate it to the customer and let them choose whether to upgrade it or not don't ever force anybody to do anything another thing i want to touch on is uh you know the talk of rid x in a tank what Ridex is, and some some people may not know, you can look it up, but uh, the old the old um, sea monkeys, they were little like brine shrimp, and they were freeze dried, you put them in water, they come alive, you can watch them swim around, I don't remember how long they lasted. But that's basically what Ridex is, is it's freeze dried bacteria, you put it in there and it eats the stuff that's in the tank. You know, that that's really good. Now will a tank last without it? Sure it will. Will it last longer with it? Yes, it will, absolutely will. You know follow it once a month so all you're doing is putting the bacteria in there you know you're making it you're making it a, an ecosystem where it eats and the more it eats out of there the less it's in there you might not ever have to have it pumped as long as you keep up on your rid x and there's not a bunch of people putting stuff in there it doesn't go in there you know like condoms tampons things like that those things do not disintegrate they just stay in your septic tank forever until it gets pumped you know a lot of people don't realize that their stuff goes in a septic tank we open it up we see what's in your septic tank so, you know, don't flush anything you don't want anybody to see because eventually it's going to come out. Um, trying to think what else we can touch on in septic tanks. You know, it's good to know where your septic tank is for a couple reasons. One, you know, so that way I can find it when I come there if there's a problem. Two, so you don't drive over it, you know. Um, it's pretty rare that people fall into septic tank with a car, but it can happen. You drive on it, the lid will break the weight of the car. I mean, it's not made for that. That's why a lot of times septic tanks are... You know position to where they're not in somewhere where somebody's in drive unless they're driving through the yard where they're not supposed to be another thing is septic tanks usually within five feet of the house you know they want to get the pipe out and then get it right into the septic tank so you have you know room in your drain field to have your room in your yard to have a drain field uh, what other issues on septic tanks um well you know a lot of people when i say always refer to a lot of people i'm just talking about my customers there's things i've heard you know, people want to, um, you know, if you come there and we dig up your septic tank lid and I take it off and it's a small clog there. And that's another thing. I always take, if I can, I'll dig the septic tank up and try to unclog your house from there. 
eight out of ten times it's clogged up there and even if it is clogged up up in the pipe i can run my snake up outside let everything let everything come out into the tank instead of laying under the house taking the clean out out under the house and having everything fall on me so it just seems to be a lot easier to do it from the tank but people want to dismiss you know just because i've been doing this for a while and i can find the septic tanks usually i can look in the yard and see where the you know the hill of dirt is it doesn't make it where i should be digging in your septic tank up for 50 or 60 dollars because i can do it in 30 minutes and solve the problem it took me years and years to get there and i just think some customers underappreciate the you know the value of knowledge knowledge is i mean priceless i mean you you work hard every day you make mistakes to earn you know to get that knowledge and then when it's time to you know get a return on the knowledge some people just don't want to pay for it oh it only took you 20 minutes yeah but it took me 20 years to figure out how to do it in 20 minutes so uh if there's anything else anybody wants to know about septic tanks let me know i'm gonna try to put at least a video on here every few days about different subjects nobody's left any comments about subjects they wanted to hear um just keep making videos and talking about different things and i'm always open for suggestions so just let me know. Thank you.